guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is Natalie I create all kinds of home and lifestyle type content here on my channel um, and today we have a thrift haul which is one of my favorite things to film I feel like it's really where I kind of started like the house stuff on my channel um, and you'll have to forgive me I'm actually filming this after work which is why I'm like not made up at all and I just was like I have got to get this video filmed because I have got to put these items out in my house. I cannot wait. And actually two of the items I already had to paint because I bought them um, to paint and the weather was perfect today. So I already took them out and painted them before I could share them in this video. However, I did take a couple of clips so that I could show you the before. Um, and maybe I'll even insert some videos of the products after. So what I bought was this one big, oh, these were all from Goodwill, by the way. Um, I bought this big vase and it was really heavy duty and it had this gorgeous like ridged texture on it and it was big um, and I just love the shape of it and recently I've been told kind of to look for things and pieces based on the shape and not the color because you can always spray paint them. So I bought that and then a really nice little like lamp, um, very like round lamp base for I think they were each like three or four dollars a piece. And then I bought the Rust-Oleum Oil Rubbed Bronze Spray Paint from Target, um, which I had a lot of people recommend or kind of tell me about. And I spray painted both of them and I think they look really good. I'll have to insert the clips here. Um, very modern, very like Studio McGee kind of um, modern, not really farmhouse, more modern traditional style, but um, I love them and I can't wait to put them in my home. I'm not sure where the lamp's gonna go, but I wanna put the vase in my shelving in my living room because I was lacking a lot of like big statement pieces there so it, it seemed to be a lot of like little pieces all cluttering and I think what those shelves were really missing was like big statement pieces which is a lot of what I found what I was looking for when I went out thrifting so besides those two things I also picked up two candlesticks so they're actually unfortunately the same height so what I probably will do is get um, different height candles like the white um, like candles and just get one that's taller one that's shorter so that next to each other they won't look the same or I'll put this one on top of the stack of books or something um, but these were $2.99 a piece I thought that they were really pretty they had a really pretty detail on them the price tag says $15 at Big Lots um, and then it looks like they were marked down to nine somewhere else and then I got them for $3 a piece which is a steal for candlesticks if you know you know um, and I love the like, they honestly have a very like oil rubbed bronze color to them. Um, and I thought these would be really pretty on my shelves. Um, they'll take up a lot of room and make a statement. I also picked up this bowl that it is a little like kind of broken here, but I probably won't use it as an actual bowl. I just thought I saw this color and the shape of this bowl. And I thought that was very like mid-century modern, like just super pretty trendy would be very expensive if it was at like Target or something. Um, I could see this again being on my shelves in my living room or on my kitchen island with like fresh fruit coming out of it next to like a vase of flowers or a pitcher or something. Um, I love anything with this like raw wood color and the shape of it is just very you know straight edges very modern looking um, very high-end and this was $1.99. Can't be that. This basket um, this was $1.99 and I was looking for some baskets that were a little bit narrower in the base um, so that they could go on those shelves in my living room because the shelves are only like, I think they're an eight inch wide plank. So a lot of my baskets were hanging over the edge and then it looks funny. Um, so I did want to get a basket that would fit for some like closed storage. So if I wanted to kind of hide anything away, remotes or anything, I could put them in there and then put it up on the shelf and it would look pretty. Um, these kind of baskets can go from anywhere from like six to, $12 at TJ Maxx, even more than that at Target, probably like 10. And for $2, I thought, I really liked the shape of this and the color tones. So I went ahead and picked it up. I always love going to Goodwill for baskets for storage. I got these two frames. Um, a lot of people that I've kind of watched on YouTube say to get your frames at Goodwill. And I don't often have good luck, um, but both of these two, I thought were really pretty. They're just gold and kind of have different um, like textures, but I thought they would look really pretty either kind of layered on top of each other 
on a wall or um, with some artwork in them and propped on my shelves in on those shelves in the living room, maybe just like leaning against the wall. I've seen a lot of open shelving where um, people will do artwork to kind of take up the wall space behind the shelf, which I think is a great idea. And recently I've come across a lot of free artwork printable like download websites where you can just like either it's free or it's a couple of dollars for the print and you print it off yourself um, or have it printed at like Walgreens and then put it in a frame like this and you can get pieces that look really expensive and cost you next to nothing. This frame was two dollars and this one was 99 cents. So if I get a couple of free frames or a couple of free prints I'll have three dollar artwork or um, even if it cost me a couple bucks for the print, these, this kind of frame with a piece of art in it, if it had threshold stamped on it from Target, it would cost like 15 to 20 bucks at least. So definitely a really good idea to look for your frames, um, thrift stores, and then do some of those free online printables or put your own photo in it. I mean, if you want to put, um, like a family photo or whatever, or maybe you do your own art, you know, make your own, you know, abstract art piece or painting or whatever you do. Um, and put it in a frame like this. So anyways, you guys, that is everything. Um, that was kind of a quick little thrift haul, but I thought that what I got was so good that I just had to share. Um, I will maybe put some clips of how I style these pieces in my home um, at the end of this video so that y'all can see, but I do hope that you enjoyed. Maybe got a little bit of inspiration to go check out your local thrift store and do some decor on a budget. Um, that is my favorite way to do it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all very soon in my next video.